Okay, class. Good afternoon. So just give another one minute. I think another one is uh, still waiting. Hey class. Uh, okay, just to check. Can you hear me? Can you see the notes? Any response? Yes. Can. Ah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, class. So let's uh, let's be continue eh, with gravitation. We try to finish this topic today. Eh? Okay, so a kind of a recap again, about five minutes. What you've done about gravitation so far. So gravity, last time in your form five, you just learned what is meant by gravity means is 9.81, that's it. Uh -huh. But we go in depth now in A-levels. Uh -huh. The first thing we talk about, what is meant by gravitational field? Okay, what is meant by gravitational field? A region where mass objects experience force. Okay. Then we talk about Newton's law. Newton, af after his research, he found that all masses in this universe are attractive in nature. And for two point masses, the force between them is directly proportional to the product of the mass and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Okay? And this formula got ruled. The condition is the two mass must be a point mass. Okay. So then, then we talk about, uh, of course, GM over R squared, gravitational field strength. And we talk about the field style, how it looks like. Then we talk about how the gravity changes and outside. Then we talk about what are the three factors affects the gravity, altitude, latitude, and rotation. Then we talk about how period and the orbital speed was discovered. And the FC is equals to FG. Uh, the expansion lead to this formula, very important formula, which led to the radius to be launched. Okay. okay. Uh, then we talk about geostationary satellite. Three three factors of geostationary satellite is what? It moves above equator. It has a it moves easterly direction. It has a period of 24 hours. A feature of geostationary satellite. Then we take about the orbital speed is found to be root of gm over r. That's it. That's what we learn. Uh -huh. Okay. Today's lesson we can focus to gravitational potential and what? Gravitational potential energy. Okay, I introduced you yesterday. What is meant by gravitational potential? New term. Okay. Okay. So I go to the slide now. Eh? Okay. The so slide. So look, look about here. The work done. An object move from infinity. When, when we move a body from M from R to infinity, this is from R from the surface of the earth to infinity. The work done, <coughs> the maximum work done on two at infinity is the integration, uh, the integration FDR. This is a more scientific term of writing the formula, uh, integration. Uh, how, how about integration? Because, you know, if you plot, if you plot, sorry, I draw here. Yeah. If you plot force versus R, according to F, we know is GMM over R squared. The graph going to be like this, going down, eh? going down. So 
from the uh, sorry can't be like this i made a mistake sorry uh with this okay so the graph f versus r we take the radius of the planet so from r here okay the f graph is like this uh, up to infinity okay so you i believe that the area under graph of force versus r is the work done so how do you find this area under the graph your maths knowledge the integration right the integration of the limit infinite to r f dr uh, this is work done more proper way of writing the work uh, that's why they put their work is the integration of r to infinite f dr okay like last time you know integration and this is why this x the area under graph you put what uh, the integration of y dx correct with the limit okay the 1 and 1 and 2 so you put 2 and 1 so you get that area so the work is uh, integration of infinite and r f dr f we know is gmm over r squared you do integration you will end up getting this formula gmm over r okay this is work done to bring from r to infinite okay so now what is gravitational potential energy the derivation i introduced you yesterday okay so the gravitational potential energy is defined as on the mass in moving it from infinity to that point this now earlier derivation is what earlier the work is derivation is what from r to infinity but not what is the potential energy the work done to bring from infinity to r so the work is going to be negative it's negative because move from r to infinite gmmor from infinity to r it should be negative negative gmmor okay the work is negative okay you climb up you did a positive work means you come down you did a negative work so negative potential okay so the gravitational potential at infinity is fixed to zero gravitational potential energy eh? so the potential energy negative values why is negative values famous question they ask in exam why is negative values you must say it, it moves further away from infinity the gravitational potential u that possesses decreases to a smaller value so this is the reason why and m move from infinity to its position it will lose potential energy get a negative value okay so why it negative value why the value become negative first first answer you must say at infinity the potential energy is zero okay which is a maximum value okay when go to the lower points the potential decreases so therefore the value turn to become negative the value which is, which is more smaller than zero have to be negative one at infinity you have the highest potential energy eh, which is zero okay so if a move from b to a work done on it is positive okay gravitational energy is increases positive we need to be the potential energy is decreases okay if m move along bc uh, bc means uh, if it if the the mass move along bc from here to here, along bc okay the work done as gravitation force acting on it is always perpendicular to the direction of the force so the work done there is no work done no work done has been done eh? because the force and the displacement is always 90 degrees no work has been done i am to move from b to c okay any questions guys as we continue okay now we have another term called gravitational potential potential what is the difference between gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential gravitational potential energy I'll go behind i go backwards gravitational potential energy is negative gmm over r the unit is joule joule okay gravitational potential is look at the definition 
What is the difference? Same wording. Gravitational potential phi, okay, at a point P, the gravitational potential here, the symbol we use, uh, we can use phi, okay, at a point P is defined as the work done in bringing a unit mass, okay, a work done to bringing a unit mass from infinity to that point. That's gravitational potential at that point. So, the formula is work done per unit mass. That is gravitational potential. So your U, your U is the gravitational potential energy over the test mass, small m. Uh, this is the formula for gravitational potential. What is the unit will be? Joule per kg. Okay, Joule per kg. So let me go in depth about this. This is important. Okay, so, so this is the earth. Okay, earth. Okay, let's say a person A and person B. Okay, the person A is 80 kilogram. The person B is 50 kilogram. They are at infinite. Okay, they are at infinite. And they brought to the surface of the earth. Okay, both of them now at the surface of the earth. Okay, the A and B at the surface of the earth. Okay. The potential energy possessed by the A is UA. The potential energy possessed by the B is UB. Is it UA same as UB? Or UA not same as UB? What's the answer? The U is gravitational potential energy. Do, do the person A and person B have same gravitational potential energy at the surface? Or do they have a different gravitational potential energy? Anyone? Different. 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 Uh, why? Because the UA formula is negative GMM over R. Although R for both of them same, the mass of the planet is same, but their own mass affects the gravitational potential energy they possess. So though both of them have a different gravitational potential energy, which is Joule. Eh? Okay, now, the point I like to like to emphasize here, at point here, at the surface of the Earth, let's say the A has gravitational potential, the B has a gravitational potential. This is what? This is gravitational potential. Eh? Potential. Do gravitational potential of A is the same as gravitational potential at B, of B, at the surface? In this same or different? In this Is it same or different? What is gravitational potential formula? Negative GM over R. Okay. So is it both A and B as the same gravitational potential or different gravitational potential? Both as same gravitational potential. Why? The value is negative GM over R. This is also negative GM over R. Both mass of the planet is same. Both R is the same. The formula is independent of their own mass. So gravitational potential is same for every individual. Okay? So, so try to understand the difference between gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential. Eh? Gravitational potential energy is different from one individual to another because it depends on their own mass. Gravitational potential is independent of their, their own mass. Okay, why I'm talking these two together? What is the link between gravitational potential and gravitational potential energy? There is a link between them. The gravitational potential energy is equals to the gravitational potential multiplied by their mass. This is the relation. Okay. Gravitational potential energy is joule per kg multiplied by the own mass kg. The gravitational potential energy will be joule. Uh, they are related. Okay. From gravitational potential, you can get gravitational potential energy just multiplied by the mass of the body. Okay. Why I'm talking both together? Because they are look similar. 
So the gravitational potential, one is gravitational potential energy, the U is gravitational potential energy, the phi is gravitational potential, joule per kg. The gravitational potential at every point is same for everyone, okay? The phi is same for everyone, but gravitational potential energy different from one individual to another individual, okay? Because it affected by the mass. Any questions from here? From this argument for five minutes, I'm talking here. What I want you to expect you to understand is for a planet, select a point A. At this point, I have two individuals there. Both of them have different potential energy, but both of them have same gravitational potential. Okay, as long as same R. Okay. So this is the R, yes gravitational potential. Okay, so let's say I'm saying there is a planet again. Okay, um, I choose a one point here, uh, point A, I choose another point here, point B. The point A is VA, uh, sorry, not VA. I put the uh, IA is 50,000 Joule per kilogram. Negative. Okay. At B, the phi B, the number going to be big or smaller than 50,000 Joule per kilogram. Let's say I give you a suggestion. Negative 30,000 possible or negative 70,000 possible, which is possible for B. Negative 70,000 or negative 30,000. What is gravitational potential defined as? What is gravitational potential? The work done to bring a unit mass from infinity to that point. Okay, the work done. The work done per unit mass to bring from infinity to that point. Now tell me gravitational potential at B. Will it be negative 30,000 or negative 70,000? Anyone? 70,000. Scott. It's going to be 70,000. Why number is big? Because more work need to be done because the distance is more, more further. Eh? So more closer you are, conclusion is, so if it's uh, planet Earth, so the potential at infinite, potential, eh? the potential at infinite is zero. But when you get closer, the potential get more negative, eh? more negative. Same like your potential energy. Eh? Potential energy at infinite is zero. But when it get closer, it become more negative. Okay. Okay, good. So I getting messy. I go again. So Earth, so the A is negative 50,000 Joule per kilogram. Your gravitational potential at A, and I choose a B. Gravitational potential at B is negative 70,000 Joule. Eh? Okay, let's see. Uh, there is a spaceship, uh, uh, let's say uh, a person, okay, someone, astronaut, okay. So astronaut is hanging at the outer space at the point where the gravitational potential is 50,000 Joule per kg. The astronaut has a mass, okay. The first question, what is the potential energy? Potential energy possessed by the astronaut A at A. So what's the formula you must use? Potential energy. So potential at that point, you know, potential at that point, you know, multiply by is mass, get the potential energy. So in this case, how much? Negative 50,000 multiplied by the astronaut mass, ET. Uh, you got that this, the potential energy possessed at point A. Okay. So if I go around one, two, three, four, how much you got? 40, yeah. Okay, so you got, uh, yeah. Is it correct? 50,000 times 80, eh? 500 times. Oh, it's 4, 4, 4 million, eh? 4 million. So the potential energy that the person possesses is 4 million Joule. Okay, when this guy move from, move from A, he travel to B. 
it now is here now is here eh? how much is the potential energy it possess so again the potential at b multiplied by its mass you get that energy which should be a still sorry i made a mistake eh? this is negative eh? negative it is going to be a big number more bigger than 40000 uh, 4 million will be appeared here okay okay let's say now the question is so the u the u potential energy linked to potential multiplied by m eh? this is the formula okay okay so now let's say the person move from a to b okay the person move from a to b at a he was stationary he was in rest not moving okay suddenly the earth of course pulls the astronaut towards the earth so the the the, the astronaut move from a to b when he move from a to b okay what is the kinetic energy the kinetic energy he gain or lost he gain kinetic energy or lost kinetic energy he gain right because getting closer getting closer to the earth he should gain kinetic energy okay potential energy he gain potential or lose potential for so lost eh? potential energy is lost okay so the gain in kinetic energy the gain in kinetic energy magnitude wise should be same as the lost in potential energy okay this is the main point eh? which equivalent to the changes in the potential energy what potential energy loss is actually what the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy is your gain in kinetic energy okay so final minus initial that changes law eh? changes so so final will be what final potential energy you take the final potential multiplied by its mass final potential energy the mass multiplied by the final potential minus the mass initial potential you get that changes in potential energy this will be the changes in potential energy law eh? you definitely will get a negative answer that means whatever answer you got the kinetic must be positive of this answer eh? positive because ek is gain okay so so this how the ek ep linked to the this formula potential energy potential loss is actually changes in u so potential times the test mass Okay. Okay. To understand more, I go up, go back to the slide. Okay. So, negative G M M O R potential energy. Negative G M O R gravitational potential. Okay. How both of them linked? Okay. Uh, we will come back to this later. Okay. I uh, skip this first. Okay. 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 Now I need to talk about this. Ah, uh, this slide. Okay. This slide tells how then how MGH, which I used in your O level, AS level, how this MGH linked to the potential energy we calculated now. The new potential energy is what G M M over. r negative gm how this potential energy linked to this mgh okay this this relation explained in this slide okay the relation explained in this slide okay look at this from here eh? the change in gravitational potential energy close to the earth surface can be obtained by considering a 1 kg mass placed at b b means above a la eh? this b a certain distance h away from the earth surface which is at a height of h close to the earth surface and eh? b okay, let's say this particle move from a to b eh? it's moving from the surface of the earth it move to b what is the change in gravitational potential gravitational potential first what is the change in gravitational potential the change in gravitational potential is a potential at b minus potential at a 
negative gm r plus h because r plus h neg minus negative gm r so you rearrange it finally you get end up getting this okay, this is the formula this is what gravitational potential differences okay now i straight go to this point last point here huh? look at the last point here what is gravity changes in gravitational potential energy the changes in gravitational potential energy is the changes in the gravitational potential which is this value multiplied by the test mass okay so this multiply by the m la i put times m here uh, this is the formula which assume to be mgh okay this assume to be mgh you see on top here this this explanation is this the actual mgh formula eh? this is the actual gmh this is the actual M, uh, mgh formula okay so when the r is far smaller when h is far smaller than r when h is far smaller than r the r r plus h is taken to be r square okay so the formula become gmh over r squared gm over r squared is gh so potential energy become mgh where the simplification has been done here here the r r plus h okay when the h is too smaller than r r plus h is equals to r let's say r is 1 million kilometer h is 1 kilometer the total is actually 1 million kilometer about is 1 million kilometer okay so r plus h is actually r so r r plus h become r square so this is the gravitational potential eh so gm over r square you know gm over r square is g gravitational field strength at that point so you get mgh so remember the mgh is actually is equal to gravitational potential energy at b minus gravitational potential at a is considered as mgh the potential energy at a minus the potential potential energy at b final potential energy uh, minus the initial potential energy the differences is about approximately same as mgh but with one condition the h must be far smaller than r Ah, uh, the h, the height it rises, eh, must be far smaller than r. I think the radius of the Earth is six thousand four hundred kilometer. So the h, if it's few hundred meters, maybe within one kilometer, we can use mgh, no problem. Um, if you, the height you go out of space, eh, and you want to find what is the gain in potential energy, and you use mgh, is wrong, because the, the r plus h here, eh, the r plus h here in the formula, the h get very big. So, so R plus H cannot take it, take to be as R anymore because H become very big. So we can't take it as R plus H as R. So that's the explanation in this slide. Okay, A very theoretical. Uh, so conclusion. Conclusion is the changes in potential energy final minus initial is mgh as long as H is far smaller than R. that's a conclusion any questions guys from here i know it's become very theoretical okay this is the difficult part of this topic okay so one explanation eh? one question we try to understand new concept now okay look at this question okay, let's we do together the idea we far okay gravitational potential is negative gm over r gravitational potential energy is negative gmm over r the gravitational potential is gravitational pot gravitational potential energy equals to gravitational potential multiplied by the test mass this is the formula uh, the changes in gravitational potential is equals to mgh okay okay so let's we go to the question now okay look at this question 
So there is a planet, planet X, Y, Z, or oh, sorry, the blue color is the planet. We go for a certain altitude away from the planet out of space. We have a position X, position Y, and position Z, okay? The altitude of position Y and X is the same, okay? Distance of L away from the center of the planet. And position of Z is 2L. Okay, each of the concentric circle in the diagram represents a point at X and Y. Our two points lie on the smaller circle, L, while the Z lies on the larger circle, 2L. Eh? Okay, now you see the last point. The gravitational potential at Y is negative 10. Gravitational potential means what? The phi, eh? the phi, gravitational potential. The gravitational potential at what? At Y is found to be negative 10 kilojoule per kilogram. What do you understand by this? To bring a unit mass from infinity, to bring a unit mass from infinity to point Y, the amount of work need to be done is negative 10 kilojoule for every kilogram, eh? for every kilogram. That's point Y. So, yeah. So that's the idea. Eh? What is the gravitational potential at X and Y? X and Z now, the question. If Y has a gravitational potential as negative 10 kilojoule per kilogram, what is the gravitational potential at X? What is gravitational potential formula? Negative GM over R. For both X and Y, as the same planet mass, the distance r from for x and y from the planet away is l. So both as the same r, same mass. So x also as the, the potential at x and the potential at y, both must be same. Negative 10 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. So what is the gravitational potential at x? The gravitational potential at X is same as gravitational potential at Y because they have the same distance away from the planet. The work done to bring a unit mass from infinity to X, the work done to bring a unit mass from infinity to Y, same. Okay? Because negative GM or R, same. Okay, now next. What is gravitational potential at Z? Anyone? What is the gravitational potential at Z? Z, how far away from the planet? is 2L. Negative GM, o, negative GM over L is negative 10. Negative GM over 2L should be how much? So negative GM over L is negative 10. Negative GM over 2L will be half of negative 10. So it's negative five kilogram, kilojoule per kilogram. So Z has a potential of negative five kilojoule per kilogram. Means what? The work done to bring a unit mass from infinity to bring to Z, the amount of work need to be done is five kilojoule, negative five kilojoule. Okay. So any question guys for the first part before we proceed? Sorry. Yeah. Can I uh, can cope up? Okay. Okay, now that's your first one. Eh? Next, very important question. Why is gravitational potential energy is negative? Gravitational potential energy. They are talking about you, eh? the you. The you. We talking about what? The you, which is gravitational potential times mass, or can be written as negative G M M over R. Eh? So why? Gravitational potential is negative. Why they say it's negative? So this is a three marks question, okay, which we already discussed. Since we have defined maximum potential energy of mass at infinity is zero, uh, the maximum potential at infinity we know is zero, all potential energy at any points below the maximum must be, below the infinity must be negative, must be lower than zero. A value that lower than zero should be negative. So that's the definition, that's the explanation why it's negative. Okay. Okay, another one thing. 
suddenly in the mark scheme of Cambridge, they add another one point here. They said one mark given for the potential is caused by an attractive force. Uh, please include this, eh? attractive force. Uh, this is given one mark. The potential gained by the object is due to an attractive force. That's given one mark. Then you start to discuss this. Since we have defined maximum potential and infinity is zero, so all potential nearby is negative. Okay, the potential caused by attractive force is negative. That's one mark. Eh? Please include. Okay. okay. Now let's we go to the third one. Okay, third one important. What is the change in potential energy of one kilogram? Yes. When it's moved from y to x, what is the change in potential energy? Move from y to x. Y moving to x. From y going to x, what are the changes in potential energy? Changes of u. Eh? Be careful. Do they, if they say potential energy, changes of u. If they say changes in potential, changes of phi. Okay, got two things. Eh? Potential energy means u. Negative GMMOR. Potential means phi. Negative GMOR. Okay. So, what is the potential energy between y and x? They're asking for changes of u. So, changes of u is actually m times changes of phi from x to y. Changes of phi, the potential changes is zero. So, no, no potential energy gain or loss. Eh? So, Changes y to y x is potential energy at x minus potential energy y. You can write the moving from x to y, yeah. final minus initial, uh, final minus initial. So ux minus ui, but ux is what? m times the potential at x minus potential at y. So potential x negative 10, negative 10, so zero. Uh, no change in potential. No change in potential means no change in potential energy. So conclusion is, no loss or gain in potential energy. So if a satellite move in an orbit, satellite move in an equipotential line, it move, move around, along the line, which is equipotential, same potential. Therefore, the satellite never gain any kinetic or potential energy. Okay, that's for y to x. Okay. So now, what is the potential energy y to z? Moving from y to z, what is the changes in potential energy? So y to z, potential energy at z minus potential energy at y. So potential energy z is m, potential at z minus potential at y. So potential at z is negative five and minus negative 10 you get five kilojoule per kilogram. Five kilojoule, uh, sorry, there is a mistake here. Eh? Five kilojoule only, eh? uh, no need to put per kilogram because it's already one kilogram. Just five kilojoule only. Eh? So move from here to go away, it gain potential, how much? Five kilojoule. Okay. So you gain potential energy. Remember guys, whenever you use Potential energy, uh, what is that? Mass times final potential minus initial potential. The potential, right, is negative GM over R. Please include the negative. Eh? Don't forget the negative. If you missed out the negative, the calculation going to be wrong. Going to be wrong. Okay. So here also you put negative. Okay. Negative of negative GM over R. So the negative negative behind become plus. That's what happened here. Negative, negative 10, become plus 10. Eh? Don't forget the negative. Eh? Okay. So Y to Z gain potential energy 5 kilojoule. Okay, next, Z to X. Okay, Z going to X. So Z going to X. Okay. Whatever direction I'm going here from here going straight like this z to x what is the gain in potential energy so y to z to x potential energy at x final minus potential energy at z so m times 
potential at x minus potential at z. So, so potential at x is negative 10 minus negative 5. So it's negative 5 kilojoule. So potential is lost when come to x, 5 kilojoule. Last time we used to use mgh. You can't use this formula because why? The h is, is quite comparable to the radius of the earth. Okay. So therefore, we can't use mgh. Okay, students, any part you don't understand in this slide? Okay. So hope you get the idea what is written here. Eh? Okay. So I skip this. Okay. So now, gravitational escape velocity. Okay. Gravitational escape velocity. So let's say you stand on this surface of the earth. Okay. What is escape velocity required? Escape means eh, like you, you jump, you do, you jump, eh? you want to go away from the earth, you jump. What speed you need to jump? What speed you need to jump such that you just go away from the earth and you are never returned to the earth. It means you go to the point where the earth gravitational force become nullified, become zero. Uh, what velocity you need to jump? Uh, that velocity called escape velocity. Okay, escape velocity. When an object is projected directly upwards from a planet, moon or sun with the velocity so due to the gravitational force, we know that, uh, back towards the surface, uh, it pulled back. However, uh, if the velocity is great enough, the object will never slow to zero velocity. Uh, it, will slow to, it will slow to zero velocity and never return to its surface. Uh, that velocity called gravitational escape velocity. So now we want to eagerly want to find uh, what speed you jump, eh? you can escape from the earth. Okay, how to find this escape velocity? Okay, so what, what energy must be same as what energy at this surface to find the escape speed? What type of energy you possess at the surface? Anyone, what type of energy you possess on the surface? Gravitational potential energy. How much of gravitational potential energy you possess? Negative GMM over R. This is the potential energy you possess. If you want to escape, you must have what type of energy which is equivalent to this energy? You must have kinetic energy. You must have a kinetic energy that equivalent to this potential energy. Then you can escape to the from the earth. Okay. So that's the idea. See the next page. How do you find escape velocity? Eh, escape velocity. So to escape, the kinetic energy you possess must be at least equal to the, the potential energy you have on the surface. Negative GMM over R. Here the negative we remove because for one reason. We just want to find the magnitude. Okay. You see, we want to find the V, half mv squared. We want to find the V. It's GMM over R. Okay. So if you maintain the negative, then what happened? The equation, when you make the V as a subject, it's going to be negative. Square root negative, no solution. So we ignore the negative. We just want to find the magnitude. So when we make the V as a subject, uh, this is the formula arises. This is called escape speed. Uh, root of 2 gm over R. This is the escape speed for you to escape from the earth. Okay. Let's say now you are you are sitting on the chair, you stand up and you want to jump. You want to escape from the earth. Just one jump, you want to go out of space, never return back. What speed required? So this is the formula to use. Root of 2 gm over r. You need to know times the mass of the planet, the radius of the earth. Put the radius of the earth to the mass of the planet. You, you get to know what is the escape speed. Okay. The next page, we have the escape speed. Yeah, the escape speed for the Earth is found to be 11.2 kilometer per second. 11.2 kilometer per second is the escape speed for Earth. For Earth. Okay. So 
how this formula arises root of 2 gr okay i go to the next before slide eh? you see here see this you see b equals to root of 2 gm over r but the gm right the gm we can replace with gr square how g is the small g is gm over r square so the gm can be written as gr square g is the gravitational field strength at that the, at the surface huh? so you put the gm removed you put to uh, gr square so you tend to become 2 gr okay when do you use this formula 2 gr sometimes the mass the mass they won't give you the mass of the planet they won't give you they give the gravity of the planet so therefore remember the gm can be replaced with gr squared because the gravity of the planet given then you can find that and gm so for the earth this formula originated is what root of 2 gm over r the gm replaced with gr squared we get root of tgr for our earth g is 9.81 the radius of our planet is 6.4 6400 kilometer the escape speed is 11.2 kilometer per second it's huge or small very huge right what is the height of the everest mountain what is the height of the everest mountain about i think close to 9 kilometer less than nine kilometer about nine kilometer eh? imagine eh, you jump it's 11.2 kilometer at the bottom of the Everest mountain you jump in one second you must reach past the top of the Everest mountain and you have must have another three kilometer above <laughs> now, that is the speed you need to jump 11.2 okay it's very huge not possible okay maybe Superman possible ordinary people not possible eh? You now tell me this is escape speed of this escape speed of earth escape speed let's see you and me eh, you are sitting in your house i am sitting here assume the gravity your place and my place is the same you and me we have a different mass do both of us have same escape speed or same escape as uh, different escape speed or same escape speed same 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 escape speed eh? escape speed is independent of your mass okay the escape speed is dependent to the mass of the planet and how big is the radius okay so now tell me moon moon okay moon do moon have atmosphere it's on, on very, very very small, small like but moon do we do we, it's out of space right moon moon don't have atmosphere right okay thank you. No, technically no atmosphere right? you don't have gas above its surface okay now guys in exam they ask one question why moon don't have atmosphere um, the escape speed idea to explain the gravity the escape speed of the moon is very low very high very low the escape speed of the moon is the escape speed of the moon is very low. Eh? Gravity is very low, so the escape speed is very low. So the air particle, the air particle, kinetic energy of the air particle is enough to to escape from the moon surface because escape speed is very low for the moon. Okay, so that's answer one. Okay, so now Jupiter. Jupiter, escape speed of Jupiter greater than Earth or smaller than Earth? Expected. More massive. Gravity of Jupiter greater than Earth or smaller than Earth? Greater. Greater, about 1.5, I think around there. So Jupiter has a greater and more escape speed on its surface. So the Jupiter atmosphere will be more dense or less dense than the Earth? The Jupiter atmosphere will be more dense or less dense than, than the Earth? Will be more dense. Be more dense because escape speed is very high. So no nothing can escape from the Jupiter. Eh? The ordinary air molecules. Okay. 
So therefore, the dense the density of the atmosphere in Jupiter is very huge. Okay. So the normal wind blow in Jupiter is equal to like tornado in Earth. Okay, because the density of the atmosphere is very, very dense. All because of escape speed. Okay, the escape speed determines the how thick is the atmosphere it has on its surface. If that space escape speed is very low, the planet unable to have a atmosphere. Okay, so it's a very good knowledge. Escape confuse escape speed with orbital speed. Okay. Orbital speed, what's the formula you learn? Orbital speed and escape speed, there is a confusion normally. Okay. Let me. Okay. So, orbital speed. Okay. What is the formula for orbital speed you got? Anyone still remember? How do you get orbital speed? Fc equals to Fg. And what's the final formula you got? Root of what? Anyone? Gm over R. Orbital speed. Escape speed. How do you get escape speed? Escape speed. What equate with what you get escape speed? Kinetic energy equate with potential energy at the surface. So, what's the formula you get? Put off 2 gm over r. Okay, get the difference between these two. Eh? Orbital speed for the satellite to go around the planet. Okay, Escape speed for the rocket and object to escape from the Earth. Ah, that is escape speed. Okay, Escape speed obtained by using liquid energy. Orbital speed by equating forces. Which is more important? Which is more important for us? The orbital speed. Orbital speed, many times they ask in exam. Escape speed, just for fun. <laughs> because uh, we can talk about, about atmosphere, density, talking about escape speed. That's the only thing. But uh, not really materialized. Huh? We, are, we can't, can't escape at all from the Earth's surface. Huh? This orbital speed is more relevant, so they're going to ask a lot. In exam, okay. Okay, any question, guys, from here? Okay, so time's up. Uh, I'll see you later, four to five again. You will send this idea, okay? So what you learned so far? You learn about gravitational potential energy, gravitational potential, escape speed. These are the three things you learn, okay? So I continue this later, uh, another one hour time. Any questions? No questions, eh? I see you back four to five with questions. Eh? Okay, see you.